So this is the Meta Tactical Apex GFC. So Metal Tactical reached out to me and said, we want to sponsor a video with one of our conversion chassis. They basically what this is, is you take a basic bullpup chassis. Well, actually first you take the 16 inch barrel that comes with the chassis. You put that inside of your Glock, then you take your Glock, you stuff it in the chassis, and then you close the chassis, and then you have a bullpup for your Glock. Well, in this case, my Glock 19X. Initially, I looked at this and said, this is a novelty item. Um, there are a lot of conversion chassis out there for Glocks and other platforms as well. I don't have a problem with that. I have some of them. I've actually done videos on some of them. I like the concept and I like the idea because they're actually really cool. But at the same time, you know, I go back and forth. Is there kind of like an actual functional utility for these types of things? And when I first saw this, I thought, And then I started shooting it. All the ammo used in this video was brought to you by Nosler, maker of the most innovative, most accurate, and most effective bullets and ammunition in the industry. <laughs> this is really cool. This is, this is, this is a really cool platform, and here's why. So this is the first ever chassis that can basically take your pistol and turn it into a bullpup. And some of the best, some of the advantages that come with the bullpup is essentially that you get a 16 inch full length barrel, but in a, in a platform that maneuvers like an SBR. So the beautiful thing about this particular chassis though, is you don't have to submit this to the ATF and do all the paperwork and do all the other nonsense in order to get what essentially is an SBR. This is the entire package with a 16 inch barrel. So now you can take your nine millimeter Glock and I do it in some other platforms as well. Shove it inside this thing and I have a 16 inch barrel. So now I get to utilize all of the energy from that nine millimeter round. So now I can extend out to distances that I otherwise wouldn't be shooting with just my Glock. And then the beautiful thing about that is I also get four points of contact. One, two, three, and four. Four points of contact. And when you have four points of contact, you can do stupid, nutty stuff like this with ease, with ease. Like it's just, it's just, I can sit on target at, what are we, 25 yards, 30 yards? Hell, let's back up. Oh, we at it. Let's go ahead and let's back on up. Backing on up. So now we're at about 50-ish yards. Uh, let's see. Let's see. All day. Give me a pistol and do it with the Glock 19X without having this chassis set up. I couldn't do that. Yeah, I'd get, I'm a pretty decent shooter, but that would be a lot tougher, a lot harder, and not as efficient from the standpoint of being able to hit rounds on target of 50 ish yards with that type of speed and with that type of consistency. So there's something to be said about having this bullpup format that makes shooting so much easier. And for somebody who's looking for something where they can basically maximize what their handgun already does. This is, I think this chassis system is kind of dead on in that regard. Um, now, on top of that too, one thing I really liked about this system is it's really high quality. It's, it's this polymer frame, but it's done really, really, really well. The lines are really clean. As you can see, there are a lot of bolts and stuff like that that really honestly kind of speak to how rigid and sturdy is not the right word, but this gun doesn't feel flimsy. It doesn't feel like something that's kind of a cheap toy. Um, it does give you the feeling that this is a very uniform platform. And that's another thing. If you look at it, and I didn't tell you that there was a, that this was a Glock conversion kit for a bullpup setup, you honestly wouldn't know. This looks like it's its own platform. Now, of course, discerning eyes would probably see, okay, you got the tan and you got the slide release of the Glock and so forth and so on. But for the most part, you struggled to tell me that this wasn't its own platform. And I think that's one of the other neat aspects of it. Of course, you get this full link rail up top, as you can see, I have my Leupold Delta Point Pro. If you want to put iron sights, you can put iron sights on the rail as well. And then what also makes this gun very striking is just the features. For instance, you got this little angle foregrip here that doubles as an extra magazine holder. So now, if I wanted to, I could run this 
run dry, and I easily have my magazine stowed away to self-contain in this particular kit. And I can take it, run dry, whoop, swap magazines, put it back in, and good to go. Now we're back in the fight, so to speak. So, and of course you got the non-reciprocating charging handle up here, which is ambidextrous because you have it on both sides. Then there's also the mag release. So the mag release for this gun is right here. So now you can swap it. Of course, it's gonna be dependent on what side you have your magazine release on on your Glock. It drops just as easily as running it on the Glock. With the adjustable stock, you push here and you can extend that in and bring it in however you'd like. Just be careful though, because I had a little bit of an incident when I wasn't paying attention and I caught my cheek in between this particular stock situation. Um, just be, be cognizant of that. Now let's talk about this trigger. The, the trigger on this is essentially what it does from a functional standpoint is you see this little bar here, this little thing right here. And what it does is it actually is connected to the trigger that's up here, but this actually pulls the trigger on your actual gun. So when I'm pulling this, it's pulling that trigger as well. I pull the trigger, it squeezes my trigger and then it goes off. It resets the exact same way. As you can see, just like that. Whoa. And if I had to speak on how the trigger actually feels, first of all, the Glock triggers aren't the greatest triggers in the world to begin with. I think Glock triggers always range from being pretty damn good to pretty And it all depends on which particular Glock you have. My Glock 19X has a pretty damn good trigger in it. And it's a stock trigger. It's just clean because it's been shot quite a bit. So this, if I had to put it in terms of point percentage, so if my Glock trigger right now is like a seven, eight, if my Glock trigger is like an eight, I would have to say this, putting it in the chassis and how this communicates the trigger feel, I'd say turn it into about a 7.5. Essentially, you get the same take up, it's just a little bit more squishy. You get a break and then you get that reset right there. I don't think it's perceptible enough for it to be a deal breaker if you ask me, quite honestly. But some people are trigger snobs and some people are like, no, I need it to be exactly the way it feels. If that's what you're looking for, this ain't for you. But, by and large, I think this is one, I'm not gonna, I mean, there's no, there's no getting around the fact. One, this is cool. It's a cool thing, it's a cool toy, cool range toy to kind of come out here and put one mag here, put one mag here, and just come out here and just kind of whip around and just honestly have a good time. Essentially, you're not getting any recoil, so nine millimeter. And then with the four points of contact, it makes this thing shoot like it's nothing. But you are shooting something substantial, you're shooting a nine millimeter. Um, and so I think that's one of the things about this gun that I think works really well is that it's a good range toy. But even then, for somebody who has, say, for instance, two Glocks, and they want to set one up to maximize its potential, they have one where they can, they can still carry, and maybe let's say they don't necessarily have $2,000 to spend on a pistol caliber carbine. Well, then they'll take their gun, the other handgun that they have that they usually kind of just have lying around for, self for home defense, stick it in this chassis, and now you've maximized the ability of that particular gun. Because not only now do you have four points of contact, which makes the gun shooting a lot easier, but then you also get a 16 inch barrel, which allows you to maximize the energy that's coming from that particular round. Then on top of that, you have these nice little accessory doodads, it's things like this magazine holder. So if you want to set this by your bedside, so now with this, I got what? I got this 18 round mag in the gun. Then I have a, another 18 rounds right here. Like, I mean, think about that, 36 rounds right there in a, in a self-contained system. Now, I know there are gonna be people who are asking about the fact that this particular barrel seems like it's dancing and bouncing all over the place, which it is. And that's actually what Glock barrels do when they're in the Glock itself. It's the browning, it's a browning system. So that browning system, it causes the barrel to move because it's a delayed lockup. Now, I'm not here to teach you the science and the engineering behind the browning system. You can Google or chat GTPER, do all that if you want to. But just understand that Yes, this barrel is moving. However, it's gonna be exaggerated because you are talking about a 16 inch barrel. So I'm not sitting here trying to lie to you and tell you that this is a highly precision machine. No, for me personally, I think maxima, maximally, I'd say about 100 yards. I think 100 yards, you're good to go. If you look at the target, I mean, look, I'm shooting at a target that's not that big. It's not like I'm shooting at the broad side of a barn. So from that perspective, I could still take this thing here with relative simplicity and easy and efficiency and be able to sit on target with confidence, which I otherwise wouldn't be able to do to the same extent with just a handgun. 
So there's something to be said about that. I'm not saying you're gonna to go to 100 yards and be able to create a one inch group at 100 yards with this thing. That's not what this thing is about. This is something that's designed to maximize the platform as much as possible and giving you the extra the extra added benefit of having four points of contact, a 16 inch barrel, being able to add accessories that you otherwise wouldn't have, being able to load additional mags inside of the accessory port that allows you to keep an extra mag in there. And then you can just go out and if you want to use this for self-defense, by God, do use it for self-defense. If you just want to use it as a range toy, you use it as a range toy. This gives you pistol caliber carbine capability without having to do the paperwork of having a short barreled pistol caliber carbine. So from here, you get a 16 inch barrel that functions like a short barreled rifle without having to go through the paperwork of submitting it to the ATF. At this point, I gotta say, I am actually smitten by this quite a bit. I think the gray color is awesome. They have them in different colors. Um, and for the most part, not for the most part, but for all of the part, it's very, very high quality. It's a very, really high quality system that honestly, I like quite a bit. The one thing I will say I don't like about this thing is the safety is not really my favorite. Um, it's not exactly that intuitive to me, but I'm pretty sure some people it doesn't, it won't be really bothering them, but to me, eh, it is. If I had to nitpick about something I don't like, that's it. Other than that, I like it. Right now, there's a culture war against the Second Amendment, which is why I need your help spreading our message to counter their message. You can help do this by leaving a comment, sharing this video, and click the bell and subscribe button. Let my voice be your voice and let them know you want to keep America tactical because the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed wasn't a suggestion, it was a directive. Also, if you're wondering where to purchase your AR-15s are essential, I will not comply. I am the militia, the new Draco design, and your state-specific Keep America Tactical shirt Click the link under the Keep America Tactical in the description section of this video. Or if you're watching this on mobile, tap the small triangle on the lower right hand side of this video and click the link in the description.